Hi everyone, Patricia here. Hope you're all doing great. I hope your weekend is going fine. Look at my hair. It is flying out of every which way on my head. Look. It's because of the fan, but part of it's because of the fan. So if you hear the fan or the noise, that's, that's the fan. So, sorry. But anyway, I'm doing a video today of five authors that I read them, or I like to read the most. I've, I read all kinds. I have a ton of books on my shelves that I've read a lot of them, but um, these are the the five that right are at the top, present moment, topping my list of the authors I like to read. Now, so it's only Five right now could change any time between now and whenever. Could be different five minutes after I finish this video, but anyway. That being said, and enough said, here we go. Now, the first author I like to read is actually the author that got me. Oh, and before I even get into that, when I mention these authors, um, I'm going to show you the book, or the first, and if the books in the series, which these all are, I'm going to um, show you the first book in the series that got me reading these authors to begin with. So, I should mention that. But anyway, here we go. But like I said, the first author I have on my list is actually the author that got me back into reading. And the series is a trilogy, and I actually got it as a box set from the from my local bookstore. And I read the whole series, whole three books in like two days, which is an accomplishment for me because it's an accomplishment. Like, you know, what else can I say? That author is Laura Roberts, and it's the... Uh, Book one in the key trilogy, Key of Light. Now, like I got, it was different color covers when I got this this series, but um, she got me back into reading. I enjoyed this series, and you know, it's because of her that I um, enjoy reading today. I just miss that's her there. That's Nora Roberts. Now she's done like lots and lots of, like okay there's she also goes by the um, pen name JD Rob which is yeah that's her JD Rob Rob being from her last name, and JD are the, the first initials of her two sons. So um, I thank her for giving me the joy of reading again. And this is the series that got me back into doing that. So anyway, that's that one. Now, if anybody who's seen my videos before knows that this author is my all-time favorite author, and of course, being Canadian, I look, you know, it's like, hello, but she, um, I, I, I don't know what to say, but what got me reading her books to begin with is the Darkest Powers series. That's summoning. That's that's the, uh, the, the there's the three in the back. The summoning, the reckoning, no, the summoning, the awakening, and the reckoning. Uh, you know, I can't read them. Can't read the words. Um, like, and again, another took the three books and read them in a weekend. Like one right after the other. 
So I don't do that very often, but when I do, it's I have to be really when and if I do it, have to, I have to be um, it has to hook me from word one pretty much. So um, and and as you know, her the series I love the best of hers is the Canesville series, which starts with almonds, but that's that's a whole other thing. But uh, this is her. It's a first of a uh, YA trilogy. Okay, the darkest, the darkest powers, and then the dark, darkness rising is the next after this. But this is like she's she's it. Like that's that's it. So that's and like these books just. When I read them, they it just caught my eye. And the, if I read this, the um, blurb on the back, it made it even better. But um, this one, the next series, I looked at the cover of the book, and for some reason, parts of the cover of this book reminded me of um, Harry Potter, even though it's like they're two different. Um, the two different things about what the books are about, but the only thing that's similar is a you get it's a boarding school type of thing, right? And my next favorite author is Jennifer Easter and Touch of Frost. And you see that that's I don't know why, but this there and that on the back. Just uh, the first thing I thought was Hogwarts, even though it's Hogwarts don't have gar gargoyles on the. But um, I read this and before if I would order if I could the book, the next book after before I finished finishing one book, I'd try and get the next one for it to come in if I could, but. Um, this like it caught my eye. This is her YA series. It's six books in it, and like it's just she's like I don't know. Just all these books just caught my eye for one reason or another. There it comes again, and but it's like you know it's the list is growing. You know it's. That's yeah, and this is it's a mythos. It's the Mythos Academy series. So if anybody's interested, check it out to see if you like it. So um, and the next is this author does it's like her own retellings of the fairy tales, and right now she has. Three books out. The fourth one's coming out soon. I can't remember when, but um, this one I looked at the cover. I'm like, I was, you know, you hum and ha, and then I said, okay, no, I have to pick it up. And it's a retelling of Snow White, and it's C.J. Redwine's The Shadow Queen. So like, I went went through this, and I'm like, oh, like really. Seriously, <laughs> you know, it's and she ranked up there as one of my favorite authors. Like, they each book, her cover anyway, has the color of the map the same color as the spine. Now, I noticed with the um paperbacks, this the map is still there, but it doesn't it's doesn't have the, the color like it has, it's like more like a gray and white. And, Whatevs, but you know it's the imagination is beyond something I could do. You know, like it's no, I don't, I don't know what to say, but it's just it catch it caught my eye. It just 
glad I picked it up, even though I wasn't really sure of the cover. But that being said, I'm glad I got it. It's all in her cover. Yay me. But that's that one. So in the last one I picked up, I looked at the cover and it was pure cover by. Like, and I didn't, like I read the, uh, the um, inlet of what it, what it was about, but I, like it was, it was the cover. Like, it happens, like to me. And that is Jennifer A. Nielsen's Mark of the Thief. Now, this is the first book in her uh, Mark of the Thief trilogy. Um, like, I like it's, it's shiny. It has a little shine to it. Not shiny like some other books, but it's, yeah. But um, this one's about, that Mark is, the, this medallion, or whatever you want to call it, supposedly belonged to Julius Caesar. And the adventures of trying to get this and keep this and, you know, it's, yeah, it's, I, I'll get, I had one of those, I had to get it. And there's another book she came out with, The Trader's Game. I saw the cover, I saw the, the author, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, okay, like, like seriously, I'm not leaving without this book. But I'm really enjoying her books. I don't have the False Prince trilogy, but I'm sure that's just as good, even though I don't have it. I've never read it, but this is what got me into reading her, her books. And she also has other standalone books out, which I've... I have the hard covers of those as well, so it's, you know, you never know. But anyway, that's the five authors that I read the most. As you know, some of them are like, they're like pretty much ranks up there one to five. Not necessarily, except number one is Kelly Armstrong, but it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, the rest don't have, have, have to be in specific order, but anyway, that's who I read the most. If anybody read, anybody has read any of their books, and just let me know what, what you read and what you thought of it, or if you're interested in reading what I, what I showed you today. So, there you go. I hope everybody has a great day, and... This is my video for the time being, and I will going to be trying to. I'm going to put one up soon. I just want to get this one uploaded first, and whatever. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.